So the buttons on the underside here and here both work great. They're a little uncomfortable though, so we're gonna switch to the um, the bigger style buttons that I had shown before. And I figured I'd take you through that process um, just so we could see uh, how we go about doing that. So one of the problems is I don't know that I have a drill bit that big um, to cover for these buttons, which are about 10 millimeters. So what I will do, um, I have a, I will drill it out to maybe a quarter of an inch. And I have this tool, it's a reamer. And I've gone ahead and, um, and marked off 10, 10 millimeters on it. Um, maybe just a shade more. And uh, what we'll do there is ream the hole out bigger so that the buttons will fit through. And then it'll be a nice, more comfortable surface um, for your fingers to rest on than these uh, harsh tips. All right, for this rework, all we really have to do is remove these switches here and here, desolder the wires, um, and put the new ones in place. So we shouldn't have to go and take this whole thing apart. Just That just leaves. We'll leave it how, how it is, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so we got the switch out, but I'm going to have to take a razor blade or something and scrape this glue clear before we put the new uh, buttons in. All right, so that's pretty much cleaned up enough for us to get started. Uh, if you have an X-Acto knife uh, set, this is the blade you want to use for cleaning this out. It makes it very easy. Just thought I'd show you guys how the reamer works. Basically, you just kind of put forward pressure on it and drive it left and right. It has blades on both sides so that it will uh, cut away the plastic cleanly. And uh, it'll just take off just a little bit at a time. And then cleanup's not too bad with just a piece of uh, fine grit sandpaper. Um, to double check things along the way, I'm going to use this guy again, but instead of using this end like we've been using, um, we're going to use this end. So what it does is it allows you to measure the inside of a, of a hole. So you just uh, basically, sorry, it's trying to, kind of hard to do, holding the camera, just basically do that and then lift it out and I'm at 9. 0.56 uh, if you remember I needed um, a little over 10 so just a little bit more ways to go we got one of the holes all reamed out <clears throat> what I found was uh, the switch here there's four little posts in the corners sit a little high which make this sit not as flush as I'd like it to be so what I'm going to do is take this um, hold it like this to the edge of a file and just go slowly across so that it wears those down but that's actually what holds the switch together so I don't want to go too far just thought I'd mention it all right got my camera propped up on something again wanted to show you guys another slick little tool here this thing here is called a solder sucker or a solder pump and basically what you do is when you heat up solder or anything like that um, you can use this to suck away the solder, which I actually didn't need because the wires just popped right off. But it's a tool that if you're going to be doing soldering, it's only five to ten bucks for a cheap one like that, um, and its value is immeasurable. Right, so I actually screwed up. I accidentally uh, melted a hole in this white wire. So what I'm going to do is I got solder on the ends of both. I'm going to solder them together, use some heat shrink tubing, and seal it up nice and tight. So that's on there. Basically what we're going to do is use this uh, heat shrink tubing. What that'll do is whenever you apply like a, like a heat gun or hair dryer or a lighter to it, it'll just shrink around it and protect it uh, electrically so it doesn't short out against anything. anything. Alright, so I'm going to try to show this part to you. i got a heat gun here. I've had this thing for, I don't know, 10 years now. But... Alright, and so what that did was it uh, shrunk around the wire, which basically makes it... Uh, like it was not broken in the first place. There we go, guys. Nice big fat buttons in the back. So much more comfortable than the little ones. 
If you're going to do it yourself, I would recommend going the big way. Let me know if you have any questions.